What's up guys? We are back again with another video. This is going to be our part two of our Avengers Endgame series. As you guys know, we have already gone and watched the movie and now this is our post decisions and reactions and opinions of what we ended up seeing in that theater. Um, but we're not going to waste any time. Thank you so much for clicking the link and let's get right to the video. Just a forewarning, if you see any little small teddy bear thing walking around, it is my dog, Bailey. <laughs> so, you know, for you guys. <laughs> anyway, let's just hop right into our overview of the movie. I thought it was a really good movie. It was pretty much what I've always wanted to see in any Avengers movie, or any movie for that matter, on the big screen. Not very many problems, except the first hour. A lot of it was just them sitting around, just doing their own thing. Yeah, the first hour was really long. However, like we predicted in our first video, and if you have not seen it, you can click right here and it should bring you to it. And don't watch this because there's a lot of spoilers. But uh, as we did address in the first video, I did cry. Yeah, she cried multiple times. Multiple times. I want to cry for this and a dog's journey. I think I'm going to be crying more for a dog's journey because I didn't get to cry. It was more exciting and in a way sad to see it all end in front of you rather than upset and crying and emotional. The action sequences really keep you at the edge of your seat though. I'm not gonna lie. The last hour was probably the most intense The best thing. hour of a movie you'd probably ever yeah. see. Yeah. Again, you will cry, but it is absolutely amazing. Just yep. the effects and, and yep. the entire ending scene in general, just it really brought the entire movie together and finally showed us what we were waiting for in a sense for that two hour period before the last hour. <laughs> Now let's get into the answer to our second question that we were wondering about, and that was who is going to die. And who came back. Yeah, and who came back. Because that was the whole point of the movie. Absolutely. Well, who ends up dying at the end of Endgame? Um, sadly, we were correct. Um, yes, in the end, you do see Iron Man uh, pass. He is around all of his friends and amazing wife. Yeah. It was very emotional. But yes, yeah, sadly, Iron Man has passed on. Sorry, but Iron Man's dead. The next person who, which Alex thought was going Black to... Black Widow. Yep. She's yep. dead. She literally just jumped off to get the Soul Stone for everybody back on Earth so that they could use that for what Tony Stark made was yeah. the Stark Gauntlet. It was Black Widow and Hawkeye now turned Ronin, Ronin, who everyone was excited to see happen, ended up going together to find out that one of them ended up needing to die. To die. And that was very hard watching also because we know throughout the entire Avengers series, Black Widow and Hawkeye did create a bond and a very strong friendship. It, it was very hard to watch that happen. Yeah, they were literally fighting over I'm gonna kill me for you. The one thing that I don't like about the movie is that, you know, they're all like, oh, like, we don't want her to die in vain, and, you know, like, she's not gone, you don't know that. I don't like the fact that they overlooked it. When Tony died, everybody was there, and people in black and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We don't see anything in specific to Black Widow as well. It's all and only about Tony Stark. She was really overshadowed yeah. by Iron Man. It, it sucks, but also it kind of makes sense. What are you doing, Marvel? He's the godfather of the MCU. Yeah. Respect, Black Widow. I have a little Lego of you if you're watching this. Now as for who came back, lo and behold, guys, everyone. Everybody came back. Like, you can't just throw Black Panther in and be like, oh, I'm new, look at me, and then best part was being in a completely sold out packed theater. As soon as you see everybody from Wakanda, especially uh, Shuri with Black Panther and Okoye come through together, you should have heard the crowd in the theater. Like it was just buck wild everywhere. Falcon, Sam, yeah. I guess they got really good radios. It reached from Wakanda all yep. the way to America. America. Avengers The HQ. Americas, yeah. Which yeah. you will see us in the Americas, by the way, in our next video. So, uh, you know, just make sure you uh, click that bell below as well as our subscribe button to make sure that you can uh, check out our next video to come soon. 
But the way they came back was, I think, the best part. But we shouldn't say everybody came back. Because, sadly... <laughs> Uh, Everybody she wanted to come back <laughs> is still dead. It's like two and a half. So Spider-Man is back. Spider-Man's fine. He's got a movie coming in like a month or so. So he's good. But when it comes to my girl, she, uh, we don't know where she is. She came back when the old Nebula and Thanos came through the portal that they made to go back in time to get all the stones to make the gauntlet. And they think she's alive, but she still could be dead, but we still don't know. So it's very, uh, and we're gonna have to wait for volume three to come out for, uh, for us to figure that out, I think. Now back to Loki, who we see at the very beginning of Infinity War, he gets strangled by Thanos. Throughout the entire series, we've seen him die and come back to life and die and come back to life, die and come back to life, die But for all you Loki fans out there, he's still dead. But, but he's alive now. He's 2014 alive. one took the space stone and yep. went somewhere. Guess he went to his own TV series to Disney Plus. When they go um, back to 20... 2014 was the Battle of New York, so they yeah. went back to 2014. So they went back to 2014. They ended up coercing a plan together. Ant-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America. Yep. And Professor Hulk. Professor Hulk Jesus was there too. Christ, can't forget Green Giant. They all um, made a plan to get the stones that were both there at the same time, which were... I know Time Stone was there. And space Stone. the Space Stone. But they lost the Space Stone. Yes. Iron Man got whacked by a door because of the Hulk. Hulk had to take the stairs and he doesn't like stairs. And that kind of ruined their entire plan because then Loki saw it on the ground and then... He picked it up. He picked and it up and went somewhere because it's the space stone, so he could literally be wherever he wants to be. He's probably just going to be in 2014 traveling back and forth. More than likely, yes. Again, they are making a TV series for him specifically on the new uh, Disney, Disney Netflix Plus. weird thing. But yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to see Loki back too. Vision, still dead. Yes, Vision is also sad. I think that's it. I, we re I really thought he'd come back but he's part of the stone, mm -hmm. so he's dead. Yeah. Now another question that I she have. had, she had. Not really a question. <laughs> yeah, a want, a need. A, a need. For, what's his name? Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. I love you. <laughs> you love him? Watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew he wasn't gonna come back. I said they're, they're not yes. gonna care about him. It was a long shot. They're not gonna use him, he's got, Gum for hands. Metal gum for hands. I know. He didn't come back, which was predictable. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're too busy filming Game of Thrones. <gasps> now, maybe next Avengers movie. You can... Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Her other question was, where was Captain Marvel all this time? Mm-hmm. Go watch Captain Marvel. You'll figure it out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... She actually didn't have a big part in the film. She really didn't. She was there. And then they called her, and she was just like, nah, I can't. She pretty much helped the rest <gasps> of the universe. The snap affected everywhere, not just Earth. Yeah. She was a solo Avenger for the yeah. rest of the galaxy. Absolutely, which I applaud her 100%. The hero we don't need. Mm -hmm. The A-Force uh, tidbit thing with the yeah. whole woman mm -hmm. in the final battle. Christ, go watch the movie. I can't play From the From Mantis yet. to Valkyrie, they were just all there, all of them together, and there's just one whole clip where they just come together in like this strong, powerful woman force, and they just start whipping ass. Every feminist's dream. And now finally, it comes to the big purple guy, Thanos. Grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> How the is this guy gonna die? I will tell you this, the purple dude, 15 minutes into the movie. I was pissed. I was happy. I was the only one in the theater making comments. That's fine, you're always the only one in the theater making comments. Got too much to say? But no, I made the comment because <laughs> They raided his house on what he called the garden, which was teased at the end of Infinity War. I was gonna say this part. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, okay, you go say it. When they finally find the planet that Thanos ends up going to, he ends up being alone in his tiny little hut, 
and I guess he's like trying to find food to make a soup or something for himself. <laughs> and the Avengers uh, go up into the galaxy to find this planet that he's on, and Captain Marvel goes down because she's just all, ooh, I'm all powerful. No, she said she was gonna go scout it out. Yeah. But he was all alone. So they flew on down, they landed their ship. They raided his house. Absolutely raided Like his a house. SWAT team. They cut off his arm. And they're like, wow, From thanks for all the rocks. places. Like even... Even, even the even, ground! Yeah, even the ground! Ruined his soup. Felt so bad for the soup. Yeah, the guy was literally just making soup and he got raided. Yeah, at the end of uh, the 15 minutes there, the person who ends up killing Thanos is... Thor. Thor. Because Thor messed up uh, big time at the end of Infinity War because, well, should have gone for the head. And he did. This time he 15 did. 15 minutes in. I was pretty mad because I didn't want that to happen, but it did. Everybody knew it was going to happen, though. But lo and behold, just like everybody else in the movie, 2014 Thanos came back and was just like, hey. So he was dead, but he wasn't dead. Yeah. And then he's like, hey, I'm gonna go ruin what you guys did so I can go do it again in your time. Yep. And, and he's just back to ruin with the clothes. entire world. With real clothes this time. Yes. No tank tops. No. But it was great though, because at the end of it all, when we know we talked about the few ways that we've seen in the comic books where Thanos is finally defeated, we ended up getting something, getting something not very in the wrong. comic books. The one thing that I said that we deleted out of our video was that I told him in one comic book, uh, it was Iron Man. He didn't kill him in the comic books. He wore the gauntlet to kill somebody else. But guess what? In the movie, he kills Thanos. Wow. And I was right. So I feel great. At the end of it all, Thanos has... Died twice by getting snapped. The very sad thing though is that because Tony does use the gauntlet that he made to end up doing the second snap after bringing everybody back, which the Hulk does. Because Tony does not have the amount of power that the Hulk does in his body, when he ended up snapping, it ended up uh, frying him like bacon. Yeah, but you know, us Canadians, we, we love bacon. So, uh, you no know, good on him for doing what he did because he saved everybody and it was a great way to die. So, Iron Man, Rest in peace. You are a great soldier Bacon. to that to that beautiful country of uh, fake Marvel USA land. Jesus. Iron Ham. The other question that I had for myself that I said in the last video as well was, will Mjolnir be back? He came back, and Captain America used him. He got Ooh, to it use was it. so great. It guys. was so cool. He got to use all the thunder as well, which didn't make sense to me, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have just been God of Hammers, like Thor's dad said, but no. It was so exciting that all of the seats in that theater were wet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, went I went ballistic. I did too. Everyone was excited to see him finally pick that thing up. Or that pan into his face when he goes, Avengers, and then he reaches out he for it. He finally said it! Assemble. He's like, out. He yelled it, and, and then he's like, pans in. <gasps> Yep. It's so quiet, but yep. effective, but I guess everyone has good hearing in the MCU. I think it took about a week for the review to come out on mm -hmm. everybody's favorite line from the movie, and everybody, uh, for the most votes, has said that the line from the movie that everybody loves the most is Iron Man at the end. Thanos says, I am inevitable, and then Iron Man, lo and behold, stealing the stones off of Thanos' gauntlet, the old one which was destroyed, uh, and putting them on his own that he had created, looks out into the crowd of war and says, and I am Iron Man. Apparently he didn't even want to say that line because he, he didn't, didn't want to get back into that emotional state. No, apparently it was so hard for him to say it. Uh, he was, he I was think they paid him more money. They paid him more money. Probably. It. It's Robert Downey. I'd say it too. I'd, I'd pay you more money to say it, Robert. He did a good job. He did. Now another thing that we do need to mention, which was awesome to see, because everybody's been waiting for this spectacular wedding, um, there was no wedding. <laughs> uh, you know there guys, was- Guys, I hope you're so excited, because it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, there was no wedding, but guess what guys? There was a kid! They pooped out a kid. They pooped out a kid. 
I was pretty proud. Between that five year jump that we see happen, uh, Tony ends up getting married to obviously Pepper Potts and they have a gorgeous little girl named Morgan. And that's cool to see because now uh, they've also teased doing something of her when she grows up and uh, continuing Iron in Man's dad's, legacy. Yeah, in her dad's footsteps, which would be awesome to see. Now, we just want to give a huge shout out to all of the people who have not only followed and subscribed to us on both our YouTube channel as well as our Instagram. However, you guys, with everybody behind us, uh, we are very appreciative of all of your support in us doing this channel together because it's been something we've been debating on for a while, but we've finally decided to do because if you never do it, you'll never know what it's like. So. Yeah, no better time than now. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to give a huge appreciation shout out to all of you guys, whether it's family, friends, or new followers. Let's be friends. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And please don't forget to also click the bell button beneath just to get notifications of any new videos that we may be posting as soon as possible. And next time you see us, we will be in the USA, so we will catch you guys then.